back in uh, November of 2009, I was out with my friends at a local bar, and when the bar closed, we came home, and we kind of turned on the little beatbox we had in the house. It was a late night, and neighbors called the police about the noise. Frank Sterling, a lifelong Antioch resident, says that confrontation with Antioch police then escalated. The officers started to say that they smelled marijuana in the house, and they kind of prolonged their stay at the door. Sterling says this video was taken by a neighbor. According to Sterling's side of the story, the officers dragged him out of his house and attacked him. The video was used in his lawsuit against the department. I was looking up, and Officer Rick Hoffman was standing above me, and that's when he said, um, he looked right at me, he said, this is what you get when you f with the cops, you f and he kicked me right in my eye, which basically busted my whole eye open. Sterling sued and won. But since then, Officer Hoffman has been rising through the ranks. He's now president of the Antioch Police Union. In 2019, he was praised for graduating from a leadership development program. And now, he's one of 17 Antioch police officers named in an FBI investigation into the department for allegedly sending racist text messages. And I think, really, that's what Chief Ford is up against in this department, that these guys are running the operation. Police Chief Stephen Ford is being called to speak at Tuesday night city council meeting to explain the impact of the investigation on staffing and the plan going forward. Staffing levels are at a critical uh, state. We have 61 officers that are currently active. Uh, we have 99 on the books, but only 61 that, that can be on patrol. So um, this is um, th there's nothing normal about any of this. The Antioch Police Department declined to comment for its part, the police union previously issued a statement saying it hopes the investigation is conducted in a timely manner, but, quote, we will not fall victim to the rhetoric of outside influences who aim to ridicule and discredit the hardworking members of the APOA. City Council member Michael Burbanica says he's concerned about public safety, but won't speculate on allegations against the department. There are a lot of hardworking men and women that are coming to work still every day, and they're not involved. And those are the people truly that need our support. In Antioch, Hassan, ABC 7 News.